can just tell that she's, um, you know, she was, she's been a little bit on the fresh side and now she's, I think she knows something's up and she, you can just tell she seems a lot more focused. She's still a horse that doesn't carry a lot of condition, but uh, um, yeah, she, you can definitely tell that she's, um, you know, a little bit more mature now anyway. What can we expect of her as a, as a four-year-old now? Oh, uh, well, it's always hard to say, you know, like to, she's never gone 1200 before. Her first start was over 13 and, and all of a sudden she's, you know, 11 months ago she was in the maiden 13, now she's going up against group one winners over 1200, so it's, it's, a, it's a hard ask, but, uh, I, you know, I'm, I think she's, she's definitely up to it. over at half a mile, um, not too hard or anything, she's quite quite forward and ready so um, very very happy with the workout. I've sort of had to change a little bit what I do with her, um, you know, we're coming back to 1200 against, her, against the best sprinters in New Zealand, um, sort of had to work on a little bit but it's yeah I'm very happy with the last couple of weeks anyway. It's a little bit hard to to know what to expect but it, like her, her work, her gallop with Julius last week, you know, he's obviously one of the best sprinters we've got and her work was very pleasing with him. Uh, Sam was really happy so uh, yeah I think she's she's improved and I've got her in a, I've got her in the right headspace too. It's the Philly travelling legs. She's in front and from last brilliant in the finish. Mainly targeting the first couple of legs at uh, at Hastings. Um, all, all going well. Um, obviously it's a long shot but the Golden Eagle would be a race, a nice race to target. I mean seven and a half million for four year olds, why wouldn't you, you know? Um, but she'll have to, you know, she'll have to be right up to uh, the best here before we even contemplate going.